Hello, we are super excited that Nigeria made it as the first runner of her this year Miss Universe project. But that does not mean we will not discuss the fact that she's a deserving winner compared to the eventual winner. The only person in the top five which I felt like deserved to have gotten that crown was Miss Thailand. Also, why did we have just three African queens at the top 30? Then the last and but not the least which I'll be having in this video or which I'll be discussing are two African beauty queens that could succeed Chidema Adesino or that should contest for the next Miss Universe pageant, Miss Universe Nigeria pageant and should go to Miss Universe representing Nigeria because I feel they could bring us the crown. Welcome back to this YouTube channel and this video is my reaction video to the Miss Universe 2024 pageant and the very first thing is a big congratulations that we have Miss Nigeria Chidima Adishina as the first runner of Miss Universe 2024 and she's also the Miss Universe um, um, Africa and Oceania 2024. It's beautiful to see that she could go that far. Like sincerely, after the first 30 and the top 12, I was very skeptical that she would be called for top 12 but also excited that she got top 12 and from that part, I think from the part where they had the swimwear, I knew she's just going to advance to way more level and for the question and answer session i just feel like yeah this guy had gotten the crown well i was so surprised that they awarded denmark the crown and i feel like denmark had the least likable answer to that question if you had seen my previous videos i had made it clear that denmark is one of the women from europe continent that could get this crown if you're not mistaken or if the winning should have been based on the question and answer which was done when they um at the top five level i feel like nigeria and thailand had the best answer and should have gotten the crown but ordinarily denmark is also a big competition very beautiful and she really embodies the miss universe so away from that let's discuss why did we have just three african contenders our contestant at the top 30. i feel like this year the african contenders or the african contestants are like the strongest like i feel like since the, like, the African continent have been sending delegates to the Miss Universe pageant, this year they had like very strong contenders, like you could see a good number of them. And I feel like it's so bad that just three African queens made it to the top 30. The likes of Guinea, the likes of, I feel like the likes of Oregon, Somalia, oh my god, I feel so bad that it's just three. Um, and I'm just thinking probably the when they had their interview probably they did not really do so well maybe that's why they were not able to advance to the top 30 away from the african queens let's discuss two african or two nigerian queens that should come forth and compete for that should come forward and compete for the miss universe pageant the miss universe nigeria pageant and should represent nigeria at the miss universe and the very first on my list is yekachi douglas she is miss world 2019-2020 and she also competed this year but she did not win i feel like she should not stop competing she just needs to represent us at that award stage and i feel like she might be the person who will bring us the crown then another person on my list is Shatu Gako, Miss, uh, Miss Nigeria 2021. Shatu Gako is the first Jabi woman to win Miss Nigeria and I don't know Miss Nigeria, she's still the Miss Nigeria, she has won crown as success so I feel like she should just compete for the next Miss Universe and she has her potential, she's beautiful and I feel like she could just be that person who could bring us the the Miss Universe crown. So this is all I'll be discussing for Miss Universe Nigeria, Miss Universe Pageants 2024. See you later. Please engage this video. Bye. Yeah.